What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel I'm going to show you guys how to restring a trimmer head, uh, whatever you want to call it. Everybody has different names for it, but we're going to restring the trimmer today. I'm going to show you how, and I hope that you learn something from my video. Stay tuned. guys so let's get down to the real reason why we're here so I am going to take some of this uh, steel trimmer line here we are going to do a full arm's length I'm five foot nine so it's about five eight five nine on my wingspan here I'm gonna do one full wingspan and then usually just uh, one arm so that will make enough for one string and then we'll do it one more time so I'm gonna make two loops here and we have cut our strings to length. So now I'm gonna take you guys off the bench and I'm gonna bring you down. I'm gonna show you how to take the head off of a, a regular trimmer. Everything's a little different. Depends on what kind of, uh, what size of line you get. Uh, it might differ a little bit. Always when you're putting it on, if it stacks up too much, hey, cut some extra off, so, or you'll know for next time. So write it down or whatever you need to do to remember it, but I usually do a full arm span and one arm length. So let's take you guys off the bench and we'll string the trimmer. All right, guys, easy day on this. There are two detents here on either side of this head here. I'm, you literally just push it in with your thumb and pry it open and then rotate it to the other side, push it in with your thumb and pry it open. Now this will take your main cover off here, which exposes your button and your, your reel. So uh, basically these are, these are stuck under little detents down here in the bottom. You literally just need to push and turn and it will come out of uh, where you're at. So I was a little further than I expected here. Uh, from being empty. So we are going to just get rid of this old line here for instructional purposes. Um, I wasn't completely out. So that's always a good thing. All right, so on every trimmer head, there's going to be a, uh, a, you know, a diagram telling you which way to uh, trim, uh, run your line here. I guess I'm uh, just lost for words right now. So we're gonna put our first line here on the top. So uh, tor closer towards the button that hits the ground, okay? So there's a little hole here in the actual reel. You're gonna stick your trimmer line in as far as it goes inside the little hole. And then wrap the line exactly how it says. So there's a there's some, you know, some people get really nerdy about this. What you don't want to do is you don't want to uh, cross your line over multiple times, uh, basically uh, pinching it in here. So you don't want to run it like this, run it like that, run it like this. Because what happens is if you pinch your line in here, it can't extract itself easily. So just loosely run it in here. No form or fashion here. Just don't bind it up. Once you've got it down, you're going to put it into this little notch here. See, there's a notch here and there's a notch here and that holds your string until you're ready to do the next one. So I'm gonna pull my string from the next side, exact same thing, put your wire in your hole, run it exactly like it says on the reel here and nice and quick. All right, so now always at this step, if I, come up, um, if I come up uneven like this, what I'll usually do is take one rotation back and it'll be longer, but at least it won't be too short when I put it back in the trimmer head. So that goes ahead and hold your wire for you to put it back in the trimmer here. So uh, if you can see this, I hope you can see this well on camera here, there is a uh, basically a little, uh, a plastic shelf here. What you're going to do is you're going to seat this, these little tangs here. You're going to seat these little tangs down beside them, and then you're going to push it in 
and turn it so that it sits underneath it. There is a spring in here, so it literally springs out. I'll show you from this angle. See, it springs out like this. You wanna put it in there and then slightly turn it so that the plastic holds, I'm trying to do it without looking, the plastic holds it in, see that? Okay, now after you hold the, it's held in with the plastic little tabs, you're gonna pull these out of the little detents here and you're gonna run them down into the metal guides here. It's as simple as that. So after you run it down through here, boom, into your metal guides, and then literally just orient your, your uh, cover piece back on here, like that, pop it on. Now you'll see that the, the, uh, the button is, is pressed in, so what you wanna do is then pull on your wire, and we'll pop your button out and you are ready to trim. Boom. All right guys, just a quick down and dirty video. I hope you learned something today. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are a member of the channel, thank you for supporting me and I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.